Hey guys, we're gonna talk about rhythm and tempo in the golf swing. Is it that important? Hey guys, Christopher Howard here. This week we are going to talk about rhythm and tempo in the golf swing. Is it that important? What really is it? Can it create more speed if you do certain things? So I had a player who came to me the other day and he was swinging with all of his arms. It wasn't creating any power and, and we worked on rhythm and tempo, which is something I'm, I'm not really talking about that often. But what we did with him in order to get more speed was we were able to implement body movements into the swing and we were able to do that by slowing down the backswing. So rhythm and tempo can have an impact on how players swing a club. So that's something we really wanna discuss this week. But first, if you like these videos, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so when we're talking about rhythm and tempo, we need to understand what we're trying to do in our golf swing. So for the player that came to me, I slowed down his backswing because he wasn't able to complete his turn. His arms were just immediately moving before the backswing even completed. Okay, so one of the big keys in a golf swing is making sure that the entire turn completes. We get the arms to the top, we get our body fully loaded. So I want players to get in here and really concentrate on getting a full hip turn of about 45 degrees, getting a full shoulder turn of about 90 degrees, and getting their club up to the top. Now, I always tell players, you are at the top of your backswing, when you get the arms loaded, okay, but you don't start to feel anything breaking down at the top in order to go long, okay? So longer is better, get a full turn, complete the entire motion. And if you're a player who just rips down with the hands before the body can complete it, feel like you're taking your time, feel like it is a slower backswing. That will put you in position where you have good rhythm and timing. Now, once we've gotten to the top of our backswing, we want to feel our transition into the golf ball. How that works, you have to allow things to time up, okay? I like players, when they get up to the top, to feel when the club is setting that the lower body movement begins. I want the lead side of the pelvis lowering, gripping into the ground, really creating four strokes while the club is still setting. So if you're gonna get in here, you really want to feel that from about this position, the lower body sequences down. Now, if you see, my wrists are finishing the last little bit of set at the top of their backswing. So that's a good timing cue. If you do that part slowly, you can really feel the lower body grip. So that's a position where I kind of like slower in the backswing, and then we can put as much speed into the downswing as we possibly can. Now, when we really talk about tempo, okay, you can talk about slow, fast, fast, fast. There are different variables that can go into each one to make it easier. I prefer players who have trouble completing their turn to take it slower in their backswing and then move into the ball with speed. But there's another way, if you have good timing, that you can create it. Now, a lot of the long drivers, you'll notice that they are fast fast, right? Tempo throughout the entire golf swing is really fast. They go up to the top, fast backswing, that before they even swing, they're working the ground, they're creating fast twitch movements, everything is about speed. So the backswing is really fast, and then the downswing is really fast. If you're looking to create more speed in your golf swing, having that approach where the backswing's fast, the downswing's fast, is never a bad idea. That will help you create the speed necessary to hit the ball a long way. So fast, fast is not a bad thing as long as you remember that you need to complete all your movements to get where you want to be in the backswing and get your transition down. One of the keys that those guys have to hit the ball as far as they do is they use the ground. They use it well. So they understand that they need to create all those sequences properly. They train it. They work really hard to get into position where they can do that. Just to wrap it up, you want to make sure that every time you take a backswing, you get a full, complete turn. When you get up to the top, 
you want to feel like the body is starting the downswing before the hands start coming down in front of you. And if you're a player that's looking for more speed, you can train your body to have a fast backswing and then a fast downswing. Don't worry about going slow to fast. Hope the video helps. See you next week. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.